So I know looking at the quest list can be really intimidating because it's super long, but really most of the things will be done in class. And then you'll have a couple of weeks at the end of the semester where you can go through and be like, okay, well, I don't quite have enough tech objectives. I don't quite have enough methods objectives. And so then you go in and do a few things on your own during those weeks that, that you will have time. So there will be, there will be class time because it will be basically virtual class time that we specifically give you um, so you can look those, you know, do those extra things that we didn't cover in class. There won't be very many of them. If you really read carefully, most of the stuff is, is done in class. And if you think it wasn't, I, I think you should read the list again. Um, especially the lesson plans themselves. I think we counted it. And just the just by doing the lesson plans, it covers 17 of the methods objectives all by itself. Um, and hey, you did it on Google Docs. So it's probably a, a, object, a tech objective by itself there too. So most of the things are done during class time. So don't feel like you need to be constantly looking through the list and like, well, what if I do this now and then we're going to do it later? Well, first of all, that's not a bad idea. I mean, get some reinforcement of the skills. Um, but there will be a couple of weeks at the end of the semester where we will not be uh, meeting in class. We're going to be doing uh, portfolio uh, appointments. And during those weeks, you're going to be working on making your uh, digital portfolio complete. So that's when you can uh, finish up those few that didn't get done during class time. But again, most of them are done during class and or through the major assignments, through the lesson plans and the um, group video project.